you know, today was, was gut check time for us, I think, and uh, Indiana State brought their A game, and we knew that they would. They're a very good basketball team. They play a lot of different players. They shot the ball very well from the outside, and um, I think they rattled us a couple a little bit. In the first half, I think we did a lot of things that maybe were a little bit uncharacteristic, but what I'm really happy about is obviously the way that we ended the game, um, but I thought Caitlin Engel had a phenomenal game today of just – willing our team to stay the course and continue to get better, especially on the offensive end. We had few, way, well, way too many turnovers in the first half, and in the second half we obviously adjusted a little bit. And when we needed to rebound the ball, we did. Um, I thought Becca Jonas had a great game today. I thought she is kind of back and, and, and really changing some things up for us. And I thought in the second half, Lizzie just allowed some things to happen. And, you know, everyone always, always asks, how do you get your points? How do you do that? But if we start keying on one person or have us go to one person all the time, that's not how we want to play. And so once we started, everybody started to kind of step up and do what they needed to do and have a little bit more ball movement, a little more player movement. Things, things just magically happened for us. So I'm proud of the way that we gut checked and, and finished the game and I'm really excited about the week that we have ahead of us. I was say, uh, Caitlin, start off with a, a good performance for you and you seem to find your, your uh, groove there a little. Talk about what got you going. Well, you know, I think Coach said it in the first half. We kind of let them rattle us, and I was pushing the tempo a little bit too much, and you just have to slow down, let the offense work for us, and, you know, let each other get going. So. How big was Maddie Dean's shot? It was about 25 feet away. I think it was at that point about a two, three point game, and she hit it. Did, was that kind of the knockout blow? Was that kind of thing that just got you guys going? Yeah, I mean, that was a huge shot, but, you know, we just kept playing, kept grinding down on defense, you know, getting stops, so. Lizzie, uh, how do you guys maintain composure? They had two of, two of their ladies who were averaging about three and four points a game. They came out today and had 17 or 16. First off, does that, in a sense, get frustrating of you're, you're following the scout, but they're having good days? How is it? Does that ever enter your mind a little bit? Um, yeah, I mean, they were hitting the shots, and we needed to adjust a little better, and I think we did in the second half more. Um, we just need to focus on our defense and let our offense come to us. And you know, and, and all part of that, though, too, Andrew, honestly, <laughs> They play so many different people, and they're playing about 12 people over 10 minutes a game, and so any one of them can step up. So their stats are slightly deceiving okay. because it's it just depends on the game. And, you know, in, in the first game that we played against them, both Williams and Newbolt had good games against us. So it wasn't something that we weren't prepared for, um, but you it's, it's a hard scout because you don't know who to prepare for, essentially, and you have one day to do it. Okay. Coach alluded to it. Now you can kind of talk about Wichita State. Uh, Lizzie, start with a how. You know, you, you probably sit all the way back in October and you would envision first place on the line, you know, these kind of games, these kind of moments. How nice will this week be or what will this week be like for you? This will be a good, fun week. We're going to work to get better each day and build our chemistry and then bring it into the games this weekend. Caitlin, the same thing in the sense of is, is these the sort of games that, I don't know, you just you look forward to. This is why you play it first place in the conference on the line. Yeah, exactly. I think you just said it. You know, this is why we play. Um, we're excited to get better this week. Like Lizzie said, we're going to work a lot on our chemistry and building that and having fun this week. So. And for any of the three of you, is there anything you can learn or take from having met Wichita State before? Um, or do you keep them and go, look, that was, you know, they're going to bring something a little bit different this time. Lizzie? Um, you learn I think we game? learned a lot from the first <laughs> game that we played them. Um, <clears throat> A lot, a lot about who we are and where we need to go. Um, and in that game, it could have easily gone either way. But I think, I think the biggest thing for us, us is, is nothing to do with, we have all the respect in the world for Wichita State. They're a very good basketball team. They've won this league the last two years. Um, and we haven't. And so we're going into their place and we get to just get better. And if we don't get better, then that's on us. That has nothing to do with who we're playing. That's something that, you know, they, they've just both said that, and that's what we really believe is that this week we get to work on our chemistry, we get to work on continuing to get better, and then you let the chips fall where they may. The scoreboard will take care of itself. It's probably been since maybe Wichita State that you, you all have been able to go into a game where maybe you are the underdog and not Indiana State or whoever are going, oh, this is our shot to knock off Drake. Will that part of it be a little bit fun in the sense that you guys can go and if you if you lose a Wichita, no one's going to be wondering what happened. You know, is that a little bit fun? Nice to be back in that role. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. We circle everyone, but it's it's a big game. I'm not gonna lie to you, and we're we're excited for it. So. 
Yeah. Coach, just one question, I guess. What kind of adjustments do you, did you make after the first half? Just you, you cut from 15 turnovers to two in the second half. We stopped throwing the ball out of bounds. <laughs> Honestly, um, no, I, I, I do think that I think honestly the biggest adjustment that we made was our player movement. We started to move a little bit more. We, we saw mismatches that we liked um, in the first half and dang it, we were going to get them there. And instead in the second half, we had a little bit more player movement to be able to get the matches that we wanted. Um, <coughs> And it wasn't coach led in the second half. It wasn't coach led in the first half. But I think that's where, you know, Caitlin's growth was huge today. Where she's calling a lot of a lot of what it is that we want to look for. And I think Lizzie's doing the same thing. And and that's where Lizzie's at her best when she can start to facilitate some of the things that are going on. Caitlin's at her best to make sure everybody's on the same page. And when both of them have those kind of quote unquote roles, really good things happen for our team. I think it's the last one I got is coach. Uh... And you talked about earlier about how Indiana State bounced in the ministry. Like, how does it feel to know that you did their starters to just 12 points? They're starting five. Well, they have multiple starters, and, you know, their bench did a great job today. And, and like I said, I don't I, – what I, I'm not worried about who scores on their team or what they do. I'm worried about making sure that we continue to get better. I think we gave them a few too many offensive rebounds when we needed to really buckle down. Um, and then we started to buckle down. And then we've just got to do a better job of interior defense. We've got to do a better job of, of, of holding people off the dribble. We got a little bit too one-on-one -on -one tonight. And when we're playing the zone, we're playing it for a reason. It's got to be one-on-five. Carly was huge today. Carly was huge today. I thought her energy was great. I thought she really bounced back. She didn't have her best um, game on Friday, and so for her to be able to come out the way that she did today, um, just it, crashing the boards, her defense, her talking, her energy, she hit some really big shots for us when we needed her to. Um, she played like a senior today, and I couldn't be more proud of the fact that you got to see the real Carly Grenfell today. Thank you.